Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Windows 7. Whenever you boot up your computer, you first need to have the Windows 7 DVD inside the DVD or ROM on your computer. Whenever you first boot up your computer, you'll see the boot screen. It'll often give you the option to press Delete or F2 to go into the BIOS to enter setup. If you hit that, after a few seconds, once it actually goes through the boot process on the motherboard, you'll end up looking at a screen that looks just like this. This is what is known as the BIOS and this is what most of them are going to look like. Even though it says Phoenix BIOS Setup Utility up here at the top, ignore that because this is what most of your AMIs, Phoenix and a lot of others, the only one that will look different is U, what is it, UEFI I believe. And uh, the options are still going to be the same, it's just going to be a full graphical environment instead of a text based environment like this. So what you're looking for is the option over here that says boot and if you look down here it'll say press over to select the menu and you just hit over three times and it'll take you to the boot option and what you're wanting to do is make sure that your CD-ROM or DVD-ROM most likely it's going to be a DVD-ROM is set at the top for the primary boot and then all you got to do is go to the exit and hit exit saving changes as soon as the computer will reboot it'll immediately boot up and start your Windows 7 DVD for the install for this example I'm going to use my virtual box to run it in a virtual machine to show you how to do the install for Windows 7 it's going to automatically boot the disk as though the disk is in the drive and it's already set up Okay, and then once you get to this screen, you're going to have the English, United States, U.S., all that should already be preset. Just hit Next, and you're going to want to click Install Now. Get this out of the way. Click I accept the terms of the license and click next. And then come down here to where you see the custom advanced. You have an unallocated drive here. Yours might actually already have an allocation to it. Either way, if it does already, you can hit delete and it'll delete the partition off the drive. You want to delete all the partitions off of that drive. And then once it says unallocated space, just click new and click apply and OK. This will create the partition on the drive plus create the system partition that's required by Windows 7. Once this is done on the partition 2 that's going to be your primary partition as it states right here on, under type. Click format, click OK and click next. Now it's going to go through all the files Depending on your system and its speed, this process can take a little while. And once it's done with this, it'll even end up rebooting. After your system reboots, just leave it set. It'll continue doing what it needs to do. You want to let it go until you actually end up to the window screen and it'll actually come up at one point asking for your key that you should have with your Windows disk. For time, I'm going to go ahead and stop this now and as soon as it gets to the next major process I'll start it back up because most all of this is automatic. Now it's going to install the features and if it has connection to the internet it'll install the updates. 
don't confuse the updates for actual Windows updates all they are is the installation updates now it's going to go to the restart you can either click restart now or let it go through the time I'll just go ahead and click restart now see how it says press any key to boot from DVD if you already have an installation on there that's what it'll pop up for you to actually do the Windows install if you don't have anything on the drive at all it'll just automatically start the install anyway And now it's going to complete the Windows installation. It says right there, that's all the information we need right now. Your computer will restart several times during the installation. In general, the next reboot or restart will actually load you straight into Windows with Windows 7 installed. This process can take a little bit sometimes, but normally it's not too bad. Okay, and as you can see, it's rebooted again. the message you're looking for set up is preparing your computer for first use that's actually a message that come along ever since what is it Windows 98 you do a clean install it would come up telling you that it's preparing your computer for first start video performance now here you can type in your name or whatever whatever you want for the name for your primary account on the computer in this case we're just going to type in test and see how down here it automatically gives it the computer name test-pc click next now you can put in whatever password you want and it even gives you the option to give you a hint so that way if you put in the password wrong it comes up and tells you what it is right here is where you put in the product key and as soon as you're done as soon as Windows is completely done with the, in, the first installation it will go in and activate Windows 7 in this case is how this is just a test and this is just to show you how to do the Windows 7 install I'm going to deselect that for now and not put in a product key I'll end up just removing this partition right after this video is done once you put in your product key make sure they automatically activate Windows when I'm online is selected and click next and then to protect your computer and improve windows automatically just click use recommended settings you gotta set your time zone which in this case is central for me make sure the date and the time are correct which as you can tell down here it is click next and if you have a network and it shows that it's got a connection it'll pop this up to ask you where your location is if you read each one of these carefully it will tell you which one to select and if you're at home you're going to naturally select home network in most cases that's what most people are going to select and use voila you have completed a clean install of Windows 7 Windows 7 is fixing to boot and as soon as it loads up the desktop you are ready to rock and roll um, from this point you can install all the software you want set up the configurations the way you want copy over any of your documents or files that you want and 
you know you, you got a clean install of windows it's set up ready to go um, it should automatically take off and start doing updates right off the bat on its own if not you can tell it to do the updates but it should automatically start and it'll pretty well get itself up to date and ready in general you're going to want to try to let it go ahead and update to service pack one if it doesn't already install and that'll get you up and going okay and now you can see right there windows has immediately started downloading and installing updates if by chance it doesn't automatically start you can click on start click on all programs and then right here is windows updates click on that if it hasn't started you can click check for updates right up here if it has already started it's going to automatically start downloading what it needs anyway so at this particular point you are ready to let it download updates once it gets to service pack one is the point where you can actually start using the system and to be able to tell if you have service pack one all you have to do is click on the start button right click on computer and click properties and well, it just finished that and right here where it says Windows 7 Ultimate Copyright 2009 Microsoft Corporation All Rights Reserved if you have Service Pack 1 it'll actually tell you that Service Pack 1 is installed right in here once you get Service Pack 1 you can pretty well go ahead and start doing the install of all the software and everything that you want to put on there and at that particular point your computer is 100% ready for use and ready for you to do whatever you want to do with it and now you no longer have to be scared of doing your own clean install of Windows 7 this information is out there for everybody and as always watch like and share have a good day